So my healing protocol is kind of similar to the GAPS diet, but I removed dairy for a longer period of times and I've kind of altered some things that have caused people setbacks in my own personal experience with working with people that have any kind of gut issues. Now, a lot of people think, you know, I'm fine, I don't have gut issues, but you know, they suffer from constipation and diarrhea. They suffer from bloating all the time and always feeling um, gassy. And those are all gut issues. Uh, the other things that people suffer from that they don't realize are also gut issues are uh, depression, anxiety, psoriasis, uh, eczema, any kind of skin issues are all related to uh, gut issues. Uh, all kinds of things come down to the gut and uh, I created this to kind of heal and seal up the gut and uh, it reduces food sensitivities and also reduces actual allergies. It helps move toxins out of the bodies seal up the gut so that you just, you basically have less toxic burden. So a lot of people do this, they have mild gut issues and they just kind of want to restart and lose some weight really quickly. And other people do it because they have kind of major gut issues like colitis and other types of leaky gut syndromes and they really want to do resets. So depending on how uh, crazy your symptoms are is how long you're gonna want to stay in each phase and how long you're actually gonna want to do it before adding things that maybe you normally eat and the cool thing is is it really is more of a ketogenic diet meaning you're burning fat and protein and also it's an elimination diet so you're kind of taking basic foods that are low starchy and no grains and you're giving your whole digestive system a break on digestion and I'm going to show you some supplements that I want to show you that are also going to aid in digestion and the healing process and make everything kind of easier so I wish I knew about these things when I first kind of started researching gut healing and uh, it's kind of a magical combination that almost everybody is deficient in and I just want to go over these products with you really quickly so uh, the first product is a digestive enzyme and probiotics so if you know anything about the gut, it takes digestive enzymes and, and probiotics to guard the gut lining and help food digest. So what happens when you eat food and you don't chew well enough, or even if you do chew well, uh, sometimes you can't digest everything. It causes gas, it causes bloating, it ca basically causes rot in the stomach, you basically have all these toxins that you didn't have to deal with before, and it causes weight gain. So I love Enzyme Medica makes amazing digestive enzymes probably the best that i have ever tried uh, this is their enzyme science kind of like physicians formula but i like enzyme medica digest basic digest school digest spectrum and then the other probiotics that i like are garden of life and this is the once daily 30 billion but any of the garden of life doctors formulated probiotics are excellent they're delivered in a refrigerated truck to the cold section and often mailed in cold packs to make sure they preserve the probiotics. And I find these very, these two things are extremely effective and helpful in uh, di aiding in digestion and helping reduce flow and helping uh, ease the process of healing the gut. So the other things we're gonna talk about are vitamin D, which almost everybody is deficient in. So vitamin D3, you're really safe with going with the Carlson 1000 IU drop of the D3 and just taking a drop a day. You can talk to your physician about how much to take. I actually take uh, two to 4,000 drops a day because I'm constantly testing my D3 levels. Um, but Carlson is great because they have no preservatives. There's not an extra pill to take. You take a drop on your tongue and you have about 365 drops in here for around $10 on Amazon. So this is a great product. Uh, the other thing is fish oil, cod liver oil. Uh, those are great for not only your skin, uh, brain health, heart health. I mean, it's just all of the natural omegas that we are deficient in naturally that we really only get from food. So if you're not eating a lot of fish, I absolutely recommend taking a fish oil and or a cod liver oil with it. So the next thing is natural calm. I love this magnesium. It is extremely, extremely effective. I choose the one that doesn't have the calcium because I'm getting a lot of calcium from bone broth. So uh, natural calm, I like cherry flavored, lemon, lemon, raspberry, they have all kinds of flavors. But I do a half a teaspoon of this every single night. Magnesium is so amazing for your body. It's gonna help you poop. 
It's going to help um, all, all of the cells in the body need magnesium and it's probably one of the most efficient things that we are in America is magnesium. So you can take half a teaspoon all the way up to two teaspoons. So I always say start low because you don't want to end up with runs in the morning because it will make you go. So if you have issues going, if you know what I'm saying, um, magnesium is definitely something to have on hand and I love natural calm for magnesium. I also get that very cheap on Amazon. So the other thing, collagen peptides and gelatin, uh, two different, very, very soluble ways to get your protein in the form of amino acids. And amino acids is basically protein broken down and it's basically the building blocks of life. It's everything that your body and your cells need to heal. So if you have a lot of weakened tissue in the body, codes and uh, weakened organs that just really need healed, uh, consuming them as much as you can of collagen peptides, gelatin, you can actually mix a little gelatin in cold water and uh, whisk it up and then you add it to your bone broth and then you can just drink it. So you're getting super, super uh, collagen elastin rich bone broth and you're getting way more uh, amino acid profile than you would even get just with the broth. So these are great ways they heal and, and soothe the gut lining and repair it quickly. And the cool thing about these are the collagen peptides can be mixed in with water, uh, just shaken up and you can add a little lemon juice or we use this at my house, we use this, um, we call it juice powder. It's called Ultima powder, and I'll flash a picture of that later. It's one of our favorite electrolyte drinks. But um, I love having this, and these are from Vital Proteins. I'm from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description box below this video. The other thing is lots and lots of filtered water. I find that if I fi fill two of these a day, and this is the half gallon size, that I drink them. So I take high my large hydro flask 40 ounce bottle everywhere with me and I drink water constantly and I pee every 45 minutes and I'm just used to that people are like oh you pee all the time oh my gosh I'm like yeah we're eliminating toxins we're hydrating the body I have a video called the magic killing beverage and it's all about water and why you should drink water and that you should be drinking it all the time and if you're not drinking enough your body is recycling old dirty toxins and that basically just messes up your organs so those are the supplements that you would do on my healing protocol. And I'm gonna list basically the foods in the description box below uh, and also on my website and this, the phases. So basically you're gonna be eating tons and tons of soup and slow cooked vegetables. So a slow cooker, instant pot is gonna be your best friend. Tons of bone broths, you're making soup, slow cooked um, veggies, um, no potatoes, no starch, no grains. You're gonna give your digestive system an amazing break that is gonna basically change your life because we are so busy trying to digest things. We're eating late at night. We're eating foods that aren't easily digestible. We're gonna eat all foods that are easily digested. We're gonna add a digestive enzyme to break it down further. We're gonna repopulate the gut with the probiotics and we're just gonna give everything a break and then we're gonna heal and seal up that gut lining. So depending on how severe your symptoms are, no matter what they are, is how long you're gonna you know, stay on each phase and you can move through the phases as you like. You can be on one phase for three days, you can be on one phase for three weeks. You decide based on how you feel. If you're pooping well, if you're um, you know, feeling good, then you move on to the next day phase. If that next phase is really messing you up, you can go back. And no matter what happens, even if you, you know have a horrible day and you crash, it doesn't mean you've wrecked all your healing. Any healing that's done is done. You know, any healing that is done in the body is going to be beneficial. So if you mess up and you know, say you eat potatoes on day three and you're like, oh no, I wasn't supposed to have potatoes. I'm ruined, I can't do this anymore. You know, it's like the healing is already happening. If you're getting lots of bone broth in, lots of collagen peptides, you're still taking your digestive enzymes healing is going to happen. And the reason you wanna keep everything really, really low sugar is because you wanna starve out all the yeasts and the bacterias that are feeding on the sugar. And all grains, even whole grains, even sprouted grains and starches, being potatoes and starchy vegetables, are going to break down to glucose, which is sugar, which is going to feed all those nasty bugs in your body. That's why we are taking them out in the beginning because we really wanna give not only your digestive system a break, but by starving out all those sugars, it gets all the candida in check, and that's what causes a lot of the headaches and the sugar die off and the flu-like symptoms. You haven't been food poisoned. <laughs> you are, those bugs, 
when they die off in your body, they leave off more toxins than you started with when you had them. So headaches are very, very common and you know, nausea and things like that. And I'm so sorry, but you know, it usually doesn't last for very long. And um, once you get through it, you feel so much better. So you are gonna feel so much better. I really love uh, books like Nom Nom Paleo Food for Humans, Zen Belly, uh, Daniel Walker's Against All Grains. When you start adding in those uh, almond flowers and stuff like that, she bakes amazing foods. Nom Nom Paleo has great recipes that are totally gaps and my healing protocol friendly. And same with Zen Belly. So Zen Belly has lots of recipes. So there's lots of paleo slow cooker recipe books that you can get for in the Instant Pot. If you have the Instant Pot, I posted a video on how to make the best bone broth ever in the Instant Pot. So you'll have to check that out. But really, you're gonna be doing lots of soups, steamed veggies, and slow cooked food so that you're giving your digestive system a break. You're gonna have one cup of juice a day, and in the GAPS diet, they don't do a cup of juice right away. The reason I do it is because a lot of times we're really lacking those minerals that we need, and you're just getting a little bit of sugar to, to keep from having too much die off, not too much. And the other thing is, is what you're gonna do with your juice is you're gonna add your cod liver or fish oil to it and drink it in the morning, and that will keep you from having any kinds of blood, or blood sugar spiking. So adding that little bit of fat to your juice will keep you from having blood sugar spikes. And it also is a great way to take down your cod liver oil and your fish oil because you really don't taste it very much. You have a little bit of green apple, a little cucumber, and some greens. And any of the approved greens, you can do spinach and kale or whatever you want, kind of mix them up. Wheatgrass is absolutely fantastic and blood cleaning. So those are great options as well. So that's kind of my healing protocol. You're going to you know, have a couple phases where you can eat the slow cooked foods. You can slowly add an almond flour and sprouted nut butters and things like that. And you just work through it and in any kind of time period that you want. So even if you have, you know, seven days, maybe a spring break, you know, you can do lots of food prepping. You can, you know, chop your veggies, get them ready for the slow cooker. You can be slow cooking more than one thing at a time. You could be making your bone broth all ahead of time and having it in the freezer and ready to go. Make sure you have lots of cups, one for water and one for bone broth. And uh, you will be set to start your healing protocol. So I hope this helped. Thanks.